doing what takes a lot of dedication and determination to do. There's two lakes. This is the front one. This one boats can get in. The second one back here, they are connected only by a four foot wide canal that is probably three inches deep, full of overhanging trees, beaver dams, logs. A boat can't get through it. A canoe or kayak can, but they have to get out and push it through. I got a rope tied to this end, or to, to her end, sorry. And I'm gonna pull us through this canal because the back lake is three times bigger than this one. Very clear and very deep and holds bigger fish because it has no fishing pressure. There is no possible way for any boat to get back there. There's no road leading to it. No way for them to get back there. Even a John boat would po possibly be too wide to get in this canal, even if they didn't have a motor and it was a very light aluminum boat, they probably could not fit in it. This is really the only way it can be done. So it's a lot of work to get this done, but we're hoping it makes it worth it. There's some very, very big black crappie back here. We're talking 18 inches. There's also bowfin, largemouth, red ear, bluegill, and pickerel. So we're hoping to get on a little of everything. Unfortunately, I really don't want a bowfin or a pickerel because I'm using very light line today because these crappie are very smart in here because of the gin clear water. We are, we are starting our journey through the jungle very narrow very shallow i'm getting ready to have to pull up over a big dirt mound right now it's about six inches deep but it gets shallower in many spots overhead hanging trees everywhere yeah this is it this is definitely it there's a lot of fruits yeah. Look at that. <laughs> this is what it takes to catch fish. Though, so guys, sometimes you just gotta go that extra mile. That's what we're doing. We know that it will pay off. I already know it will pay off. A little warmer than I had hoped today. But we're just going with the flow. Yeah, this is it. I remember climbing this. That's why I just mentioned beaver dams a minute ago. That's what this is caused by. Yeah, we gotta get out. Yep, see. Oh my gosh. Record me. Just filming down there. minnows too. God, holy cow. Guys, we still got a couple hundred yards to go. We have just begun. Still only about six inches deep, ten foot wide. Maybe tons of bushes, overhanging trees, maybe you can, dead leaves. You won't get in there. Sinking mud. I probably just have to get out of here. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I'm not going to stay in here. Okay. Here it looks 
pretty narrow. I think you're fine. Maybe, I might make it through there some more. Get down again. Treacherous 
mangrove style canal that we barely made it through. Sunk up to my knees in dead leaves. get on something in this lake. I'm going where I'm gonna fix everything up, where I plan on bobber fishing first, over where that rock dike is, that, that rock shelf that comes out. There's a big old boulder right there, see it? Mm -hmm. God, this thing is so clear. 